now that we have our form built for our party, let's configure the settings for the form itself. And then we'll put the form on a page and do some entries to make sure it's working properly. So we click on settings right here. And the form title is event registration. We'll make it for Topher's party. And I'm not going to use the description, so we'll leave that right off. We don't need to mess with short codes. We want to show a message. We don't want to show the form. We do want to store entries. We want to validate with JavaScript. And then on submit, it says your responses were successfully submitted. Thank you. This is where we want to get a little more creative with the thank you message. So we want to say thank you for registering for the event. So the hidden field is just Tover's party. So we can say thank for registering for, let me click here and click event name. Throw in an exclamation point. We're looking forward to seeing you. And if we look at advanced, see that there are some other options that we could put in, but we don't want to. So there we are. So it says, thank you for registering for Topher's party. We're looking forward to seeing you. Now I could have written that in by hand, um, but if we leave it this way, then if we ever clone this to be a different event and simply put in a different value, then we don't have to come change this message. So let's click update. Now we'll look at actions and notifications. It's already set to send an email. And I want this to go to me. And I want the from to be Name, space, last, and then in brackets, email. And now in the subject, I want something similar. I want to I want to be able to just look at my subjects in a long list of emails and know which one is for which person. So we're going to put in name last. for event name. So now it'll say Bob Smith for Topher's party. Um, let's say And we'll leave the default message because it's going to have all the fields anyway, and we want that. Uh, so now update, so now our email is set. Styling and buttons, we're not going to change anything. Customize HTML, we're not going to change anything. So we've built our form, and then we have set it to have a better title. Validate with JavaScript, give a nice message, and uh, send an email. So now let's put this on a page. Gophers having party. Fill out the form below if to come. One guest per invitee. There we go. So now we add form. It will be adventure registration for a Tover's party. And there it is. So we will publish this and view page. So Bob Make sure I get Bob's fake email address here. Uh, yes, I'll be being a guest. It will be my wife. 
Well, let's just guess name. Let's just call it guess name. And submit. Now, the thank you message says, thank you for registering for Topher's party. We're looking forward to seeing you. It looks a little bit funny right under this message. So let's try something different. Let's copy this. We'll take it out of the page. Update. Now let's go back to our form. The settings. And we'll make it the form description. Now we can't print the description in the Gutenberg block. So we're going to use the short code instead. I'm going to copy this back to our page editor. And I'm actually going to remove this block. And we will put in the short code block. Now, the disadvantage here is that we don't get to see the form right in the editor. So I don't want the title, but I do want the description. Now, if page, now that text is part of the form itself. So now we can say, Ofer, Roja, phone, email. I'm not going to bring a guest and we'll submit. And now that text is not there and that looks a lot better. So now let's go back to our entries. I click entries. You see that we're looking at entries for all forms. And we don't want that. We want only event registration for Topher's party. And there we are. So the oldest one is the one that I did, you know, as a preview. So now let's look at Bob Smith. And there's all the information. Now, Bob is bringing his wife. I am not bringing anyone. And so the guest name is hidden by default. And there we have built our own form with database entries and an email. And it looks nice and it works well. In the next video, we will upgrade to Pro and go over some of the new features that come with it.